Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm taking you to Ferris Wheel Antiques and Charlie's Thrift Venture, both located here in Topeka, Kansas. I'll show you my haul, what I plan to keep, and what I am selling. Before we head out today, I want to say thank you to Rose Forever. They have sent me the most gorgeous roses I think I have ever seen. I already took a sneak peek, I'm not going to lie. The box is great, nice and thick, and it protected the beautiful velvet box perfectly. Look how pretty. Y'all, you ready for this? What? Rose Forever is a New York-based company launched in 2019 that designs luxurious rose boxes with all-natural roses that last up to a year. Of course, I will leave their information linked down below. I have a $25 off coupon. They've got a ton of different displays that are all natural and vegan. I know y'all will be able to find the perfect choice for yourself, and these are going to be great for the upcoming holiday season. They would make an amazing centerpiece. Stay tuned a little later in the video to see how I have my roses displayed. We are starting off our shopping today at Charlie's Thrift Venture. This is a fun thrift store located on the south side of town. When I walked in, I found my favorite find right away. You'll see that shortly, but let's walk around and shop a little bit. I did love those license plates. They were out of my price range and that brass Coca-Cola bottle was a different find. I had never seen one of those before. Have you? Leave me a comment below. I really loved this table. It had a gorgeous base on it. It was out of my price range. I think that said 129 or 149. Can't quite remember, but it's so pretty. That window was very neat as well, but super, super heavy. A lot of fun little chairs there this day. I think this is pewter. I don't know. I never pick up pewter. Does pewter sell for you guys? And I loved this duck, the wood and brass combination. What do you think? Did it come home with me? There were a ton of art supplies this day. Loved this oil pastel set, but I don't use them very often. And I knew it was going to be priced high. He actually ended up pulling that and took it back for his eBay store. I found a ton of these little brass lamp pieces and ended up scooping some up for a DIY. Really loved the cute little furniture pieces they had back in this room. Some of the higher priced items are in this room. I wonder how much that mirror was. It wasn't marked. Probably something he would want to negotiate on. And what do we think this is? Some kind of homemade sifting screen. Wasn't really sure, but of course, you know, that wood and metal combo caught my eye. Fun little collection here must have been dropped off or found and uh he set them all out together you know i love tiny things this guy came home with me next we are moving on now to the antique store we got there about an hour before they closed and i have never filmed here before so i didn't get very much footage i apologize i will do better next time i promise you know all these little handles and doodads caught my eye pricing here was definitely more antique store pricing <laughs> i found a few things in my price range including these beautiful spindles and then i headed outside to do most of my shopping out in their little yard area where nothing is marked of course this display caught my eye look at all of these gorgeous bottles i picked up three or four for my personal collection drop me a comment below should i go back should i get more what colors are y'all looking for? What do you want me to pick up and style with? Oh, my heart. These gorgeous porch pillars inside were only 75 each. I thought that was a great price. And I love this little crock lamp, of course. 
a lot of things at Charlie's aren't marked, so I talk with him when I bring the items up front. Uh, this time he did ask me if I was from town. We had a little chit chat, so now he knows I'm a reseller, um, but he didn't go sky high on prices or anything, so thank you. <laughs> if y'all um, wanna check out a cool thrift store in Topeka, I highly recommend swinging out by Charlie's. Okay, but don't take all the good stuff. First up are these adorable little tea towels. They've got a sticker on them. Paragon Needlecraft Hand Embroidered Pure Linen Cotton Decoration. Um, they've got discoloration, they've got a little wear and tear. They are old for sure, but they were so cute. So there's a his and a hers. And then there's kind of a random one that is a little different, um, but the same company. So I'm gonna set, sell these as a set of three. I bought them as a set of three for $2. Next up, I saw a huge box of doilies. Um, I hand picked out a few. Loved this one for the size and the colors. Of course, great for Christmas, but a good green is always in style. Nice little round ones. I usually sell these in sets, so I will curate a few of them together and sell them as like sets of three or five. I think two of those match. So that one will probably be a set of two. I love these little ones. And even when they're discolored like this, I don't mind. I think it just adds some fun texture and color. So we'll do that one as a set of three. Oh, and then look at this one. It'll be by itself. It's a butterfly. How gorgeous is that? It's got its little antenna. So pretty. He did 50 cents for all of the doilies. You'll see, this little box was adorable. He charged me 50 cents or a dollar. We were chit chatting as I w we were pricing things. So next time I'll try to pay attention better, but 50 cents or a dollar on this wooden box. It's got great patina. It has a name on it, uh, Norma Johnson. I don't know who she is or what she used this box for, but I'll leave that on there and just sell it as is. It's got the perfect patina. Okay, drop me a comment down below if you know exactly what this was for. Look at the price tag on it. This was the very first thing I saw when I walked in the door and of course I picked it up. Now it's pretty grungy. I don't always clean things up, but I am gonna give this a nice little scrub. You wanna make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna clean it up and then I'll show you what it looks like once it is done. But drop me a comment, What what is this? What was this used for? It is gorgeous. And what would you, how would you decorate it? What would you use it for? I did my research. This is a vintage wooden coin tray from a cash register. First time ever finding one of these. They were selling upwards of $60 on eBay. Crazy. I found this cloche in the back um, in the kitchen area for a dollar. So I went ahead and cut a wood round for it. Just super simple with my jigsaw. Used a little bit of the DIY decrepit dusts to age up the edges. And ta-da, this beautiful $1 cloche now has a base. Took me about uh, 10 minutes. I just love how this cloche came out. I also went ahead and put together a second cloche that had been sitting in my inventory. And I used this amazing base from a different recent thrifted item. The cloche lid fit on top perfectly and I just love how it has the little mini riser inside of the glass dome. This one is available as well. Okay, let's talk about the copper situation. This is the pan that I teased all week long. Look at that patina. Okay, so I set this up on the counter and he said, oh yeah, the copper pan, that's a lot of copper, man. Those things are going for a lot of money. 
and my heart legs sink. <laughs> so he knew what he had here. He did sit there and kind of look it up um, as we were talking. He ended at $29.95 for the copper pan and I didn't even argue because everything else is really reasonably priced. That was, I thought, a good price. Now, is that a great price for me to resell it at? Not exactly. Um, and, you know, somebody did get rid of their entire copper collection here recently, but I think it's time to start building it back up. So, I don't know. I'm going to look it up. This, it has some stamping on it. It says 75 right here to, there's a 20. Um, I'm not seeing a lot else. Look at the back, like, oh my gosh, the back of that handle. So, I don't know. I was thinking I was going to keep this one for a while, but I always feel so bad showing you guys stuff and be like, na 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 you can't have it. <sighs> So it's like, do I restart my copper collection or not? Okay, so he did charge me $29.95 on this. I need to look up and see. I didn't even look. I didn't even care. I just said yes um, because I figured I'd keep it. I don't know. But then I found this piece in the back amongst the home decor, just chilling by itself. So I put the, we talked about this copper pan. Some other stuff was in my cart. This one came up. He's like, uh, $3. So $30 and $3 <laughs> made me feel a lot better about spending 30 on this since I only spent three on this one. This one's very unique. Comment down below if you know exactly what this is. I mean, I'm sure the shape of it, you know, there's a spout, a handle, it's shorter. Um, there are two holes right here. So I imagine it did have some kind of handle up top. Um, what kind of copper contraption is this? But I thought these were two really beautiful pieces to start a new collection. So here are a few items. This is, I think, all I have left, really, of my copper stash. I've got these things listed up on my website, right? I, uh, I really love a couple of them. Um, so I'm going to bring them inside and just decorate with them for now. That guy fits beautifully into the collection. And also... This little guy fits in here well too. So I'm just gonna enjoy them for now. I'm gonna go ahead and list them up on my site um, and use them for staging and enjoy them while I can. If I absolutely fall in love, then I can, I can make the decision to just take them down and keep them. Whew, what do y'all think? What would you do? These roses would make the perfect centerpiece for the holidays. Of course, they last a whole year though, so I am figuring out how I can incorporate them into my daily decor. I took a little piece of tape and got the fuzz off of the vegan velvet, and now I have paired it on top of a nice neutral piece of wood next to a black dough bowl that I recently thrifted as well. I stuck some of my favorite spoons in to bring some of that natural wood upwards and some of my favorite keys are placed here in the dough bowl which I will actually end up using for like my keys and stuff but just a beautiful nice little touch of rust in my vignette and I placed that beautiful cast iron roll pan back in the background to make the black velvet pop. I am just loving these roses and I cannot wait to display them year round. I paid up just a little bit for these, $1.99 a piece, but how cool. Again, drop me a comment, some kind of spool. This one has a little bit of wire on it, um, but I thought these would make some amazing tree bases. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these three as is and if y'all want to snag them up and make yourself a set of little trees i think they would be perfect now while we're on the subject of trees i've already got them over by my staging area so i got other pieces like tiny things from the antique store too and pulled a few things from my salvage to make more tiny trees so i'm gonna go ahead and show those to you now as well I 
I did order these bottle brush trees off of Amazon. I have linked them in my Amazon shop. They're in the floral and greenery collection. Next up is this beautiful crockery jug. This again is still the stuff from Charlie's in great shape, no big chips and cracks. It's marked USA on the bottom. I paid $10 for it. It will cost up just a little bit for shipping, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now I found another crockery jug a while back, a couple weeks ago, and it was my first one ever. And now I have found two within a few weeks. So that's always fun. What do y'all think? Have you ever found a crockery jug before or just crocs? This beautiful little brass container was $5. It's got feet, all four feet are still there. It opens and closes and has a great little handle. So I went ahead and picked that up. I thought it would be really cute on a dresser to hold maybe something that's not super pretty like contact cases or you know, something that doesn't fit your aesthetic. You can just slip it in here. It's really easy to open and close and then it will conceal whatever you're not wanting to show so much. This one is stamped as well with an 84. So let me know down below, how can I research some of this stamped brass and copper more? I started to Google it. I didn't really come up with much for the numbers. Okay, he charged me four dollars. I'm sorry, two dollars for the four oil cans, which made them fifty cents a piece. I'm actually gonna run outside real quick and scrub them up, and um, show them to you again. They're kind of grungy, but they're not full. Thank goodness, because they're real pain to clean. <laughs> found this adorable copper pitcher and he's staying with me and living in my printer tray. Next up are these two weights, 10 pounds here. This one was $8 and there was one more. Oh yeah. It was more of like this pear shape, right? These will be a little heavy to ship, but I will go ahead and get them listed up. And um, if you purchase them with glass, I'll just have to ship them separately. Know that much. <laughs> I grabbed another a nice brat or silver bell <laughs> with some great patina. Bells have been selling really well. This fun old wooden top, this was 89 cents. He charged me a dollar for the bell. And this cool screw on insulator top was 50 cents. I'm gonna save this for a project. I found some great brushes and tools. This one was $1.69, a silver fox bell. <laughs> I love that. And these are great to display old vintage pictures or um, holiday cards. That would be a great idea right now. These little mini ones were 69 cents each. I'm gonna sell them as a set of two and I think they would just look great stacked up in a vignette. And then this tool, wooden handle, with just a piece of metal, not even sure what it is, but I love that metal and wood combo. It was $1.99.
drop me a comment down below. Do I paint him white because he's got some deep scratches or do I just grab maybe some um, DIY Dark and Decrepit or Sweet Pickens Dark Oil Wax and touch those up? He is a gorgeous duck with those vintage beady plastic eyes. But the reason I got him, of course, is the brass bill. Um, he's marked on the bottom with a sticker. Castilian Imports Brass and Copper. 900 lots and lots of um stamped pieces and marked pieces wondering if this one all came from the same haul his bill it fits in there with some wood and is a little loose so i think a little wood glue would do him well drop me a comment down below paint or no paint Okay, I squealed when I saw this box. It is marked $9.89 for this little plastic tote. Um, what caught my eye, and I, I I found some last time I went to Charlie's too, um, are these scales. So it doesn't have the base, obviously, but both the scales are here, right? They've got beautiful patina on them. I'm going to sell them as is, and that way you guys can craft your own little... DIY project with these brass plates. Okay, and then there's some watch pieces in here, but they came in these adorable little tins. Some of them are old and patinaed. Some of them have good advertising. Then look at these adorable little envelopes with advertising. They've got pieces inside of them. I'm going to leave the pieces in them. So those will be a little lot. Lorraine found this adorable little container, Better Packages, Inc., Shelton, Connecticut. Um, it's a little silver metal, very tarnished patinaed container. The lid opens. It needs a little scrub on the inside, which I'll do real quick. Um, but I don't know, was this for business cards? Drop me a comment. What do you think? This is a vintage pencil sharpener. The pencil goes down in there and then you turn it got a beautiful a yellow paint patina and I think this would just look really sweet in your craft room in a little vignette or in like a man cave industrial type area. I found these great little pieces of strap back in the tool section. I went ahead and picked them up for some kind of DIY. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I thought they would be great with some letters stamped in there and they are good Christmas colors. I think he charged me 50 cents or something for the little pile. Not very much at all. And the last thing I got at Charlie's, ta-da! For $5, I got this a beautiful set of almost not really used acrylics. The white has quite a bit of it gone. Eh, not actually, not really. So pick these up and I got a couple canvases from the store as well so I can play in some paint. Okay, it's a little later in the afternoon. Now we're going to look at the antique store stuff. So we rolled in around 4.15. The store closed at 5 and I wasn't trying to be a pain in the tush. I hadn't really been to that antique store many times but I did know I've been there before it's been many many years I did know there was some good stuff and I knew there was some amazing junk outside that I could kind of pick through so he put together um a little basket as I picked stuff and the whole basket he did two for 15 on these I'll give you a better look at them here in a second and then this bell was in here along with some of those little insulators and stuff I turned into trees and the glass bottles. And he did $20 for the lot on for the lot on that. So I thought that wasn't bad. And then I paid $5 a piece for these beautiful posts. 
I loved the black patina. It's gonna go with um, the new kind of theme in my kitchen. So I'm keeping these for now. Maybe someday once I'm sick of them, I'll chop them up and turn them into some beautiful projects. But the black paint, the wood patina, couldn't pass those up. The rusty sifter, I couldn't pass the great rust patina on this one. And then this one is more of a pitcher, a pourer. Um, ooh, it is household use only. I can't remember, I'm so sorry, who was requesting I look for a cowbell. Here it is. It's around the same size as the last one. It's got a little bit of um, an I, I know, damage. It's falling apart down there a little bit just from being old, but it is a beautiful bell, great patina, and it's large. It's about the size of my head. It's a big one. Um, that was part of the $20 lot. I couldn't pass up that huge bell. I've been picking up and selling these little oil lamp parts as is for Christmas tree bases. So here's a perfect set of three available. And I thought these would make some amazing bases as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and list the metal pieces as salvage as is that way y'all can pick them up and put whatever kind of Christmas tree you want on them and then you know if they don't end up selling or whatever that's fine I'll turn them into some projects of my own but I know not everybody can find great salvage like this All right, let me know in the comments down below if y'all would be interested in me picking that beautiful bottle display that they had. I grabbed four bottles this time, two clear, two brown for my own personal collection because they all had lids. I'm lacking a lot of the smaller glass bottles with lids. So I picked these up for my personal collection. What do y'all think? Do you want me to grab some and curate some fun collections for my site? I'll totally go back. Here's a quick clip of those bottles if you missed that part of the video. Again, thank you to Rose Forever for sending me those beautiful black and velvet roses. I am going to love keeping them here all year and using them in a beautiful display. If y'all are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends.